Hey there. Well, if you're listening to this video tonight, well, you realize that it's a little late. As a matter of fact, it's approximately four hours late. So we got out of our conference and I finally made it back to the classroom and I only have a little bit of time to get this recording done. So if you're watching this recording and you see it, I'm going to give a um, type on the bottom part, leave a comment and said, um, I got my homework done, Miss Rowe, or leave a comment of, um, I understand rounding decimals, or understand how to round decimals, Miss Rowe. Whichever one to let me know that you are here and you're part of it, then come see me in my classroom for a treat. Okay, so let's go through this. We are working on even numbers. Some of you, if you were working with Ms. Uh, Jackson, you are doing the lesson before. So just go to the, the video before that and everything is there. If you are on round decimals, then we are um, ready to go. So we're doing all even numbers and today is September 11th of 2018 and even numbers. And on here it says write the place value of the underlying digit. Okay, so that's the first thing that I need to do. I'm looking here. I'm going to make my strategy and put my dashes in. Here I know that this is the ones. I know this is the tenths. I know this is the hundredths. And this is my thousandths. That way I can plug the numbers in if I get confused. So I here, after my decimal, I have a zero and seven. I know that is in the hundredths place. So I'm going to write out the hundredths. Don't forget the TH. All right. So next it says round each number to the place of the underlying digit. So I'm looking at here, and remember I'm at the hundredths because it told me to hundredths and hundredths, and I'm going to draw my arrow across. I'm looking at the number to the right. Five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So it's saying that I'm not going to do anything to this. So this now becomes a zero, and now my number is four and seven hundredths. Okay, the next number, we don't need to do three, so let's go to four. If you were confused on this one, always remember that you were going over to the next one to the right, and the rule is um, five or more, I add one more, four or less, let it rest. Okay? And just remember your rule. You can write this on any test that you take. You can write it on any scratch piece of paper as long as you're putting your thinking on here for your notes so that you can remember. All right, number four. Again, let me make sure I have my decimal. I'm going to put my one here. It's in my tenths place. So that's my tenths place. And I'm going to write tenths. Now I'm going to round. Okay, so I'm going to come to my tenths place. I'm going to draw my arrow across. I know my rule is five or more. Ah, da da da! It is. I'm going to add one. I'm now going to cross these out. These become zeros. And so now I have. 1 plus 1 is 2, and I'm going to bring down my decimal and bring down my 8, and so it is 8 and 2 tenths. If you bring down the other two zeros, is it going to change the value of the number? I better hear shout out, no! Okay, so shout out, no! It doesn't change. Remember, zero is your hero. It just uses to fill the place value, never changing the value of the number. Okay, let's move over to number six. Again, I'm going to place this, my decimal here. I'm going to put my two and I put my seven. That's in the hundredths place. So I'm going to write hundredths. I'm going to now move over here five or more. Yep, yep, it's going to change it. My add one, cross out my six, put a zero. One plus seven is eight. To bring down my 2, bring down my decimal, bring down my 4, and now it changes it to 4 and 28 hundredths. Okay? That's all you had to do there. So check your work. Here it says round 8 and 293 thousandths to the place named. All right, it's telling me. All right, so secret, guys. 
if you don't like your parents telling you what to do, your teacher's telling you what to do, you're not going to get math all the time because math pretty much tells you what to do. So here, number eight, it's telling you you're going to round to the tenth. So it's telling you you're going to the tenth. So I'm going to write out this number, 8 and 293, to make it bigger. I'm moving over to my tenths place. That's my hundredths. Did I do something wrong? Yes, I did. Going to my tenths place. Now I'm going to move over to the right. My 9 is greater than 5, so I'm going to add one more. These I'm going to cross out. No longer need. So I don't need to put my zeros. 2 plus 1 is 3. Bring down my decimal and my 8. And so my answer is 8 and 3 tenths. Now I'm moving over to my number 10. New number. 12 and 462 thousandths. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to increase this a little bit more. Okay. Now it's telling me I'm going to change this to the tenths. I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to go to my tenths place, and I'm going to place the number here, 12 and 462 thousandths. Here's my tenths. I'm moving it over to my right. Five or more, add one more. My plus one crosses out all zeros. Four plus one is five. Bring down my decimal, and I have my, so it's 12 and five tenths. I'm going over to my ones place. I'm going to rewrite my number. I have 12 and 462 thousandths. It tells me I'm going to my ones place. So I'm underlining my ones. And so I'm moving over. My rule is for five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So I'm going to leave my two alone. Everything else becomes zeros. And now I have my 12. All right, next one that you're going to do is coming down to the speeds of two runners when rounded to the nearest tenths place. Okay? Now, I will tell you the first time that I read it, Guess what I read? I read tenths. Guess where I tried to round? I tried rounding in the hundreds. So make sure that when it says the tenths, you go to the tenths place. And everything is on the tenths. Okay? So the two runners will have the same number when the numbers are rounded to the tenths. So here I move over to my seven. My seven is saying one or more. Oops, I'm so sorry. So my seven is greater than five, so I'm going to do plus one. And do this in a chart. As a matter of fact, let me just do that right now. So I have 1 and 7 eighths. I'm going to my tenths place. Come over here. I eight five or more. Add one more. My plus 1. Cross everything out. And I have 2 tenths. So I'm going to put my 2 tenths here. And I just noticed that it did that. So I have to be real careful. Sorry about that, guys. My next one is 0 and 169 thousandths. I'm going to my tenths, moving it over. My rule says 5 or more, add one more. Is it 5? Yes, plus 1. Okay, so 1, and they all turn to zeros. So my 1 plus 1 is 2. Bring down my decimal, bring down my zero, and look at that. Okay, so do those have the same? And I want to make sure. So I'm going to go to my tenths here. If I move this over, and let me come down here, if I have 277 thousandths and I move my 2 over to the 7, I do plus 1. Everything becomes 0, so that's going to be, by rounding it, 3 tenths. Okay? Now, here, because I know exactly what you're thinking, here it's, I'm going to place this over here on this side. I have 289 thousandths. I have my two, my tenths, my two and my tenths place move over. That's eight, five or more, add one more. That's plus one. They turn to zero. And that's what I have. Two plus one is three. My decimal and my zero. Okay, so this is, three tenths and this is three tenths. Now you're like, well, hey, what am I supposed to do here? Let's go back to your question. It says the speeds of two runners when rounded to the nearest tenth are the same. Which two runners are there? Okay, so um, 
Which ones would you use if we're looking at the speed of two runners that would be closer? Okay, so I'm hearing, hold on, wait a second. All right, let's take a look. Now, the speed runners, if they came in, in order for them to be winners, right, because you want to know that these are runner speeds and they came in at the same speed. So the speeds of two runners when rounded to the nearest tenth are the same. Which two runners are there? Okay, so remember, let's look over here. The lesser the number, the faster the runner, right? So here, the fastest two runners with the lowest, with two tenths, beating those other ones is going to be Luke and Margola. Now, it doesn't say it in here that it's like, who are the winners? Those are the type of questions you're not going to see because you got to look at the facts. If you're looking at the speeds of two runners when they're rounded, you're mostly looking at the fastest runners, and that's what they want you to know. All right. If you have problems on that one, come see me. I'm going to zoom that out so that you can have an opportunity of freezing that and looking at it and then going back. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it over. Oops. I can't turn it over, but I'm going to change pages. And I need to hurry through. All right. To which place value is the number rounded? Okay. So if we have eight tenths, that was it rounded to, and it started at 799 thousandths. Was it in the ones place? No. Can't do anything with that. So that's not, that's definitely not. Was it in the tenths place? Did I round to the nearest tenth? Did I move here? Add one. Wow, that's a very strong possibility. Was it in the hundredths? Absolutely not. Was it in the thousandths? No, we don't round it to the nearest thousandths. It's only going to be in the tenths and the hundredths. So that's not even a true statement. So our answer is B. The next one on 18, which number is 7 and 323 thousandths rounded to the nearest tenth? Okay, so I'm going to go to my tenths, look over to my neighbor. It says, oops, hold on, four or less, let it rest. So my answer is going to be 7 and 3 tenths while well, everything else turns to zeros. And so my answer is A, because nothing else will work. And then on 20, look down here on the multi-step problem. The chart shows the length of each student's pencil. Which person has a pencil length that can be rounded to the nearest tenth of an inch? Okay. So it's going to be rounded to the tenth of an inch. So let's take a look. At Lori's, we're looking at tenths. And so if we round it, it's going to be move over to the right, um, oops, round it to the nearest tenth, and I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do because I'm rushing. Um, so it's five or more, add one more, four or less, let it rest. So I'm going to let that rest, and it's going to be six and six tenths. Ping, if I had a zero here, because this didn't change, and we said, which person has a pencil link that can be rounded up to the nearest tenth? So we have five and five and fifty-five thousandths. I'm going to come over my five, five or more. Add one more. So now it'll be five and one tenth. So my tenth place that one changed. Let's look at here the nine. Move it over. It's going to stay. It's a one, four or less. Let it rest. So this will be four and nine tenths. So my tenth place stayed the same here. That stayed the same here. This one so far has changed. And then look at this one, a zero will be here. That one's still going to change. That stayed the same. So which one of these um, people or students' um, pencil changed in the tenth place? Yeah, you're absolutely right. This is the only one. It's ping, and the answer is B.